TB45 is a DIN rail mounted temperature safety device. It's available in two versions, model TB45-1 and TB45-2. Both models provide safety cutout where independent limit switching is required for over or under temperature applications. TB45-1 is a temperature monitor. Temperature monitors have a non-latching relay allowing equipment to restart without external intervention once temperature has returned to within its normal operating range. TB45-2 is a temperature limiter. Temperature limiters use a latching output relay requiring a local or remote reset before operation is resumed. It accepts all types of thermocouple and RTD input signals and is typically used on heating and refrigeration processes. There are two relay outputs as standard and also the option of a third output for a linear retransmission signal, typically 4 to 20 milliamps retransmission of the process variable if required. It can be configured by the front push buttons or by using PMA software called Blue Control. Connection is via the blue port front inf interface here. Unauthorised access to the limit settings and operating levels is prevented with a password. The unit we're looking at, TB45, is the model TB45-2. So it can be configured as either a temperature monitor or a temperature limiter. I've configured this to be a temperature limiter. And down here you can see three bar lines. When there's a bar line against TB, that shows that it's been configured as a temperature limiter. Here, these bar lines, one, that shows the state of... Um, output 1 which is the limit alarm, 2 that shows whether output 2 has been configured and in this case I have configured it to be a temperature uh, a monitor so it's a fleeting alarm um, and I've also configured output 2 as a high alarm at 150 degrees C and the limit alarm at 200 so if I go up and exceed, uh, if I go past 150 degrees C, then first of all we'll see that 2, the bar line changes over, it will, it will, it will disappear. So, oh, a bit fast, but I've gone above 150 and that line has changed. As I go further to uh, past 200 degrees C, you'll see that this changes more so that has gone but we now have E the exceed light that is flashing so I'm above 200 degrees C the exceed condition when I come down below it the process in is now back into normal operation but I'm still in an exceed condition so the exceed light now has gone from flashing to a steady state. What I have to do is to reset that. Um, in this case I've got it configured for a digital input, external, external digital input to reset that latched alarm.